Welcome back everyone, it's me Matt, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. As you know, being that I am an artillery gunner, or maybe you don't know, uh, I have a strong fascination in artillery technology and equipment, and one thing that's fascinated me for quite some while is the ability for fuses and precision equipment to potentially be jammed. We're moving into an era where emerging signal jamming capabilities of adversaries threaten the effectiveness of existing artillery precision guidance equipment. That's right, in today's climate of technology and systems that are available for precision engagements with artillery projectiles, there is the ability for both rocket and conventional firing munitions that are guided by GPS to be jammed, interfered with, and even potentially be hacked in the future. This isn't exactly news to us though in today's modern battlefield, but it is developing more and more across the globe in the defense industry and the increasing risk to artillery units is being unable to provide the incredible levels of accuracy that these kind of munitions provide, such as the Excalibur round. As always though, when it comes to technology and IT hardware in military weapons, it's really an arms race to find out who's going to counter whose systems. It looks to me that the nature of artillery, however, in the current scope of military conflicts, such as that in Ukraine, which you know I can't talk about, is a lot less mm, sexy and involved as we may think it may be with these sort of precision weapons. This is because these systems come at a price, and the technology needs to be protected if they are exposed to high-tech peer-to-peer systems, which have strong defenses to counter the guidance systems used in these projectiles. But artillery isn't the only system out there that's exposed. Your own information technology is in your very own hands right now that you could be watching this video through is at risk. So what better of a way to prevent those pesky eyes and ears getting into your digital space than NordVPN. Being that I make a multitude of content about military equipment, it's always at my forefront to use a VPN to protect myself and the sites I explore to get information. The internet as we know is a risky place, but software like NordVPN allows me to surf quickly and accurately with true peace of mind across the networks. NordVPN is the fastest and easiest to use VPNs out there and allows you to protect your online data with top tier encryption with the ability to choose among 5000 plus NordVPN servers worldwide. Not only that, but it extends its usage to a multitude of platforms from your computer to your cell phone, allowing you to expand your protection. One of the key features I love of NordVPN is its ease of use and intuitive setup. I log in, turn it on and have a very simple and concise interface to select features I want quickly without hassle. You can also use amazing features like Nord Locker that protects your files and folders in an encrypted cloud. Additionally, you can use Nord Pass to secure your passwords and login credentials to generate unique and complex passwords to get to sites frequently used and less hassle of trying to remember them all. And you can purchase NordVPN and Nord Pass all for three products packages at the same checkout. And NordVPN is doing an exclusive deal where you can get an extra four months when you buy a two year plan. And the campaign is starting right away, so go to nordvpn.com forward slash Matsimus to get this exclusive deal. Remember, if you do not like the service, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. So head over to their site and start using the link in my description box and enjoy flying through the digital space precisely onto your target without interruption. So let's talk further into options available to counter such systems that will impact the artillery effectiveness using advanced precision munitions. Now, most of the time when we talk about precision guidance systems, we expect that we have high-tech Excalibur rounds being used most of the time in places like Ukraine or even Afghanistan, and of course, they were and still are. But the reality is the cost when it comes to using such precise weapons is astonishing. For example, a basic setup firing for the Excalibur 155mm GPS guided round is a whopping $68,000 US per unit. While much more expensive per shell compared to the $800 unguided 155mm conventional HE shell, it's a lot less expensive than the $150,000 rocket used in the US guided missile systems like the M142 HIMARS or the M270 multiple launch rocket system. So where's the middle ground? Well, you're looking at it. This is the precision guidance kit and it is the perfect compromise and something I feel is going to expand exponentially in the next five to ten years and why is that well let's talk about truly where it came from first and then maybe we can talk a little about its future and why it's being used to counteract against these jamming systems that are coming out today the m1156 precision guidance kit or pgk formerly known as the xm1156 is a u.s army designed precision guidance system to turn existing 155 millimeter artillery shells into smart weapons the prime contractor originally was Alliant Tech Systems, later merging into Orbital Science Corporation to form Orbital ATK. 
In turn, it was taken over by Northrop Grumman and renamed Northrop Grumman Innovation Systems, and the industry team includes Interstate Electronics Corporation. And there have been other contractors and defense manufacturers that have been capitalizing on PGK as well. Now, PGK contains obviously a global positioning system temperament to being able to be engaged by some form of jamming or even hacking systems, but it's a guidance kit which is designed for the fuse function and is integrated with a GPS receiver to correct the inherent errors associated with ballistic firing solutions, reducing the number of artillery projectiles required to defeat targets. The increase in efficiency that PJK's precision capability provides allows operational commanders to engage assigned targets and rapidly achieve desired effects while minimizing collateral damage. The PGK fuse is comprised of three primary components, the fuse body, the GPS guidance system, and the warhead itself. The fuse body is composed of a guidance control unit, a GPS receiver, and the control electronics package. The GPS guidance system is composed of a GPS antenna, GPS navigation processor, and the warhead is designed to deliver an explosive payload. Of course, it is a standard any payload that can be screwed in just like any other fuse. This reduces its overall requirement to be a bigger unit, such as the Excalibur, when the fuse is displaced into whatever projectile you want it to go into. It incorporates a variety of features to ensure accuracy and reliability. The fuse has a built-in self-test feature that allows it to run a diagnostic check when in a stationary position. This ensures that the fuse is functioning properly before it is used, and the fuse has a variable range setting allowing the user to adjust the maximum range of the munition. Additionally, the fuse has a variable endurance setting, allowing the user to adjust the amount of time the fuse will remain active before it actually self-destructs. The PGK fuse is designed to be user-friendly and easy to use with the fuse setting and priming of the system, which I've heard firsthand from users in the Canadian artillery that it is highly user-friendly and works every time without fail. That's not saying it doesn't fail. The fuse does have a simple user interface that allows the user to quickly and easily select the desired setting for each use. Additionally, the fuse is designed to be compatible with a variety of artillery shells, allowing for easy integration into existing systems. It is literally, folks, screwing it into the top of a standard round. Of course, when we talk about artillery and indirect fire, there's always that collateral damage risk when using an area effect weapon. So additionally, the fuse has been credited with reducing collateral damage and civilian casualties due to its close precision at a smaller cost than more advanced systems. Overall though, the PGK is very reliable, cost effective, and as a precision guided munition, truly is providing accurate and reliable engagements for a variety of different targets. PGK is also qualified for use as the XM1128 and XM113 extended range artillery projectiles and for compatibility with future M-code GPS. In parallel, a development program for the next generation of PGK known as the Long Range PGK is being executed to develop a course of correcting fuse for the use in extended range cannon artillery weapon systems and to operate in near peer GPS degraded environments out to 70 kilometers. The Long Range Precision Guidance Kit is meeting the current and future anti-jam requirements as well to defeat jamming. It is also advanced and very, very good at being able to develop against reliability against precision strike functions in a GPS specific jamming environment. The kit is compatible with the existing and future artillery shells, including the M795, the M109A6, the M12299 and the M777A2. This upgrade kit combines enhanced GPS based navigation with an innovative roll stabilized guidance unit and antenna array. This integrated technology paired with a proven variable deflection canard control method allows for the advanced in-flight correction capabilities. The technology is designed to help the warfighter complete missions accurately with the ability to provide precision guidance at even further distances to outrange the threats towards engaging the artillery battery. But more importantly in this context is a much more improved GPS anti-jam technology that supports the mission and makes munitions reduce that circular error of probability. Now, BAE Systems are now producing the Long Range Precision Guidance Kit, which of course then allows for a lot less ammunition than conventional artillery to complete the mission, which saves costs and potentially offsets the larger price tag than a standard round at around $10,000 per fuse instead of the $80,000 to $100,000 for more advanced systems, which actually take longer to produce and supply due to the consuming amount of industry using microchips, etc, etc. Excalibur is complex to build. PJK ER is designed for the current inventory of artillery rounds and cannons to ensure value and affordability, but it can be adapted to other artillery rounds to extend the mission and increase the customer's purchasing power, and today, that's very important. For example, it's compatible with the higher muzzle velocities of the 58 caliber weapons, as well as the Legacy 39 caliber. 
But alongside BA Systems on September 28, 2022, Northrop Grumman Corporation announced that it had surpassed the projectile and delivery of more than 100,000 PGKs for the 155mm artillery projectiles. This has been a push globally for artillery units to try progressively get PGK to replace standard fusing for conventional projectiles currently in inventory, transforming them into GPS guided precision weapons. So when adversaries begin utilizing jammers to disrupt this capability, Northrop Grumman pioneered a new design and technology that ensures continued operations in a GPS degraded environment. Recently, the company incorporated the user feedback to add a built-in selectable safety feature that prevents detonation if the PGK predicts the projectile will exceed the selected miss distance while in flight. The company is also nearing completion of the necessary qualification events to implement GPS M code, which will allow PGK to defend against existing and emerging threats to GPS, such as jamming. Once implemented, the system will be one of the largest production programs within the US Department of Defense to integrate this crucial capability that allows authorized users to acquire two signals from GPS satellites to achieve superior positional accuracy. But battlefield requirements are ever changing, so Northrop Grumman continued to collaborate with the US Army and invest in ways to enhance the technology to meet the future needs of the warfighter for the ever increasing threat. It is very hard to find information as to how the systems prevent interference for jamming, but it is good to know that these sort of systems are being reviewed constantly to ensure if systems like this do get in the wrong hands, jamming is not going to cause any problems. These fuses I see in the next while becoming cheaper and even more cost effective on top of even more resistance to interference on the battlefield. This is providing the battlefield commander the ability to strike large amounts of targets at a cheaper cost with a steady stream of logistical supply. There's no way you're going to pull in the amount of ammunition such as Excalibur than you would with just changing the fuse. The precision guidance kit will more likely replace most conventional munitions in the next 50 years. The technology will become cheaper however, but as I mentioned before there will always be ways to interrupt or break down the technology that makes them work and therefore there will never be a truly hack proof weapon system on the market as long as the adversary that they are being used against continue to research ways to fight back. It's an interesting battle space that we don't talk about too often of precision projectiles from standard field artillery being affected by this sort of thing. Mostly we'd talk about long range missiles, UAVs, drones, or even ground drones. And I wonder what the next future jammable space will be. Maybe projectiles from tanks or even rifles. Safe to say though that precision guidance kits are definitely going to be that interim defense when it comes to engaging targets from long distance with precision munitions. That's it for today, folks. I hope you learned and enjoyed a little bit about the PGK system. If you did enjoy the videos, please leave me a like. Of course, always leave me a comment. And of course, go check out my description box for all the different links and descriptions for things that can link you to my page, including my Patreon and PayPal. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on there. I really can't thank you enough. And of course, click that little bell by the subscribe button to be notified for videos next time. All the best. Bye-bye.